Early in his stud career, Munning stood for a fee of just $10,000, but he steadily produced one elite runner after another, and he's now a leading sire in North America. Coolmore's Robin Murray spoke with us about the Ashford sire, and trainer Brittany Russell introduced us to two of his latest stakes winners. So Munnings is 17 years old now. Um, he's about to enter his 13th breeding season with us here at Ashford. Um, year on year, he's constantly produced top level elite runners. Um, you know, last year he had 15 stakes winners, the year before he had 19, and he's really ascending that path to, to greatness. Um, Munnings has gotten off to a fantastic start in 2023. He's already had three stakes winners, of course, two of them um, trimmed by Brittany Russell. He's got really exciting three-year-old filly, Money's Gold. Um, she debuted last year in Monmouth and then coming off a seven-month layoff, she absolutely blew away the competition in allowance um, last week at Gulfstream Park for, for Todd Pletcher and Robert and Luana Lowe. It was really exciting to have those two stakes winners um, on that day, you know, both three-year-olds coming along and making the progress that you like to see. Prince of Jericho, he came up from Florida in the spring. Um, you know, we took our time with him. You know, he made a nice move around the turn and he really accelerated. Um, you know, he ran down a horse to beat him last time and, you know, he looked good doing it. L Street, we've taken our time with a bit since she arrived. Uh, big bodied filly, there's a lot to her. And left there running and, you know, she sat a beautiful trip and, and same sort of thing as the other horse. She, uh, you know, responded at the end, she, she ran big. They're both nice Munnings. Uh, they're, you know, strong, sturdy types, uh, you know, big bodied horses. They, they handle training well. You know, they show up to work every day and, you know, they also show up in the afternoon. So they're very reliable horses to have around. They're very versatile. They'll run on any surface and they show a tremendous amount of natural speed. They're very good minds and they're, they're so tough and hardy. Um, you know, he's got the likes of Beverly Park, who won 14 times last year and has earned over half a million dollars. Their tenacity and their will to win is something very similar to what he had. A horse that I have in the barn, wonder where Craig is, who's by Munnings. He, he was one that probably put my name out there a bit, so he, he's been very special to us. The Munnings that I have, they're, you know, they're, they're fast looking horses. Everyone that I have, you know, big engines, they have a strong shoulder to match. They just, they have a, they have a fast look. It's a very exciting time for him with his first son at stud in Kentucky and Jack Christopher standing. He's been incredibly well received by breeders. He's been fully booked for a little while now and we're really looking forward to getting him started. So Munning started his career off at 12,500 and for his first five years at stud, he stood for less than $15,000. He was number four leading freshman sire in, with his first crop and he was actually leading second crop sire um, the following year. And ever since then, he, he has um, gotten more mares, better mares. His fees started ascending. He's been in the top 10 general size for the last three years now. And we're still yet to see his crops off the $40,000, the 85, and then of course he's up to 100 this year. So, you know, theoretically, the best is still yet to come. And we're, we're so excited for him. He's been supported by some fantastic breeders in the past. He's doing very well as a broodmare sire as well, and you know, we would expect all of this to elevate him over the next couple of years.